Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Senior Cross Nation. And oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Senna has just released so much content for this week. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm honestly struggling to keep up with it because of how much uh, all the content's been coming out. And I, I'm. I don't doubt it, I'm probably gonna end up staying up all night just trying to like make videos and whatnot, just trying to keep up with everything that's been coming out. But dear lord, they released so much. For those of you that don't know, okay, the Dandelion meeting uh, that took place in California here in the United States just ended yesterday and they revealed like, uh, I mean, they revealed, a, they revealed a little bit of info, but it was nothing like staggering, um, or at least from what I could hear from my, from what was shown on Twitter and whatnot. I wasn't actually there myself, sadly enough. I really wanted to, but I couldn't get myself a ticket. <sighs> Jesus. They just released so much content, and I just want to go over everything today, because I know everyone who just happens to log in probably have tons of questions, so I'm going to do my best to answer as much of them as I possibly can. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I I'm just going to jump into the video, because it's just absolutely insane. Alright, so, first of all, okay, uh, <laughs> Just the notices themselves is ridiculous, because look at this. Here's the notices. Almost all of the front page of the notices is covered with completely brand new stuff that just came out today. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? And they have a really cool event that's happening for us, too, for Global. Um, and it's probably, it might be the first time for us for Global, too. Like, honestly, we're, we're at a point now in the game where we're basically caught up to JP. At least in terms of medals. Uh, we're caught up to JP, and we're start, and I believe we're coming up to the point where we're now going to start getting uh, regular events and stuff like that, just like JP does, where we no longer have to compare ourselves nearly as much to JP anymore, which is a really positive sign. There are some other aspects to that as well that are kind of negative, but uh, I'm going to catch on to that some other time. But at the very least, let me get started on the actual notices. So the first one being that you can now become you can now have a chance to be a part of kingdom hearts 3 okay if you play the game you have a chance to be part of kingdom hearts 3 okay ah! <laughs> i cannot begin to tell you just how exciting this is like e even if you have like absolutely no shot at this whatsoever okay even if you're just like you just started playing the game and you just have absolutely like even if you have, <laughs> even if you don't have a shot at this, okay. Even if you're not even gonna try to to be a, p a part of this, whatnot. You're not even gonna attempt it, okay. Just the fact that it's a possibility that they even bothered introducing it into the mobile game itself. To me, that is super exciting. That adds a really fun and like exciting aspect to the game. It just builds the hype for Kingdom Hearts Three even more so as well. I. As a Kingdom Hearts fan, I've been a Kingdom Hearts fan ever since the series first came out. So like, I'm a I'm a I'm a true die-hard fan, okay? <laughs> like I I'm, I'm trying to restrain myself a little bit by by not failing girling too much. Um but anyways, you can so let me tell you how you can actually be part of Kingdom Hearts 3, okay? From playing the game. So according to their details, 300 lucky players will be chosen to have their Kingdom Hearts Union Cross player name included in the Kingdom Hearts 3 game, all right? So your actual avatar name in the game has a chance to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. But you have to fulfill certain requirements in order to do so, okay? So here's part of the selection process and you have to fulfill like, and it's like three different things, okay? So part A, okay? So this right here is gonna, part A rewards all of you longtime players um, who've been playing, playing since either the very beginning or at least a year or whatnot, okay? So all of us long-term veterans uh, automatically get points. We don't have to do anything, okay? If you've got anywhere from 300 to 399 login days, you get one point, all right? If you, get, if you have 400 to 599 days login days, you get two points, and 600 or more days uh, has three points, okay? And the number of points basically gives you more chances of actually being selected. That's how it is, okay? It's not like the most people with the most points get selected. It's it's, it's, almost, it's like an increased lottery type of thing. You have more chances to win type of thing. It's not a guaranteed win. 
The second thing is that we currently have a new high score challenge going on right now, which they also introduced a brand new metal whose metal analysis I'll have coming fairly soon. Alright, I'm already swamped in all the other metal analysis videos. I have to take cover over the uh, key, key Art 16 banner that we have going on right now. Um, but basically how it goes is that if you're in 1st to 10th place, you'll get 3 points. If you're in 11th to 100th place, you'll get 2 points. And from 101st to 500th place, you'll get 1 point. Alright. When I did the high score challenge, I got placed at 8th place. I believe I'm in like 53rd place right now. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> because, I, like, I'll, I'll get to that, okay? Because the high score challenge itself is, like, ridiculous of how much, uh, assist medals you can have, okay? And the third, uh, section for the, for the draw is that you can, there's the, there's new login bonuses. Every Monday, uh, these next three weeks, in, uh, including this week, so starting this week all the way till the 30th, uh, of this month, okay, we will be re we will be receiving three new types of medals called Toon Moogle medals, which are the exact same thing as the daily uh, poll that we have right now in the shop, where you can pull a me Moogle medal. Okay, you can get 1,000 jewels from those Moogle medals. Moogle medals. At the same time, if you hold on to them, okay, at a certain later part, it, at the end of like the month and whatnot. They will also give you extra points for keeping the medals. So if you end up keeping one medal, two medals, or three medals, you'll get one, two, or three points. Okay. But keep in mind that these Moogle medals, these two Moogle medals, only you can only get them on certain days. Okay. It's not like like uh, you log in tomorrow, you'll get today's uh, two Moogle medal. That's not going to happen. You have to log in today and you have to log in next week monday and the monday after that in order to get your specific two moogle medal so make sure you get your daily login bonuses and the last thing that you have to do in order to become part of the application process is that you have to go to this link that's listed right here i wonder if i can highlight this i can't uh the link that's listed right here okay if you copy and paste that into a website browser uh it will take you to a form where you can fill out like all of your info like your your player id and whatnot and what is acceptable and all, all the good jazz you have to fill out that form to in order to uh, officially become part of the application process and the rest of here just basically gives you specifics as to like uh what counts and whatnot and, like right here it shows you, you need your player id uh, so that's very exciting i i'm i'm very excited i'm entering for this thing because like <laughs> how can i not like that's like a f <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> anyways let's go on to the next notice okay so here's the high score challenge okay uh the top 500 players can get their name in kingdom hearts 3 uh, we just went over this okay it, it, it's basically based on uh your ranks in the high score challenge will give you a certain number of points uh, we just meant this and as well as the medal that you receive for this high score challenge medal is a new medal called young king mickey b and just like usual the top 1000 players for the high score challenge get a boosted version of the medal but i gotta say what this medal does, I, it's like, it's really good, but also very questionable, okay? It's like really good, but really bad at the same time. It's very odd. And this is what it does, okay? It's a power upright medal, tier 8. Uh, AoE cause 0 gauges, has a damage multiplier of 7.39 to a thir to a 19.37, and this is what it does. Does 3 hits. For 1 turn, it raises your general strength and power strength by 7, so it just caps it out. And your upright strength by three. Okay, this is the second medal in the game that up uh, that increases your upright strength by three. It's the second one in the game. However, there's a risk to it. It uses all gauges regardless of skills and inflicts more damage the more gauges use. <laughs> like what? It uh, like that's that's. That's some restriction right there. I'm going to give some quick tips on how to use this metal if you happen to get it. Uh, I will go more over this metal in the future metal analysis video that I usually have coming out on my channel. Uh, but just quick tips. Uh, you, there's only two ways I would advise using this metal. Okay, One is if you already have uh, Kyrie EX. Okay, uh, You would use this before Kyrie EX and before your copy metal for Kyrie EX. Okay? 
Uh, that's the main thing you want to remember. You want to use it beforehand. All right. So that way uh, you get your upright buffs and, and what you get your upright buffs. And then you can use your Kyrie EX and the copy metal for it. So that way you can restore 10 gauges. All right. That's the key thing because this thing uses all of your gauges. So by the time you want to use them the first slot. So you use up all your gauges. Then you use Kyrie X at the copy metal and you restore 10 gauges and hopefully you have good enough metals where uh, you can still use the rest of your setup under 10 gauges. That's the trick to using it. The second way you could use it, uh, just off the top of my head, is that you could also have at the end of your Keyblade where uh, it doesn't matter that you use up all your gauges because by the time you restart your turn, uh, you're going to be using Kyrie and stuff at the beginning of your setup anyways, uh, which will fill anywhere from like 10 to 15, 20 gauges, depending on how many times you can copy Kyrie. Yes. Uh, so that's the second way that you can use this metal. And again, uh, once I learn more about the metal and I figure out setups, and I, I, I'll i cover it in a later metal analysis article. Um, but that's the metal for this uh, week's high score challenge. And I also want to state that the number of assist medals in the, for this high score challenge is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we have up to four uh, medals for the high score challenge that you could actually have a 21 uh, percent assist bonus, um, and those are going to be the HD Vanitas EX Plus, the Sephiroth EX Plus, Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX. Plus, Plus and the new Fexen Plus. Okay, those four medals will give you 21% uh, bonus assist bonus. There's a fifth medal too, and that's going to be the Key Art 16 uh, EX Plus medal as well. That's also a medal that gives you 21% bonus. So five medals total. Very exciting. Okay, very. It, I, I'm glad to see that they just gave us a ton of assist medals this time, and it's not just like three medals that are like 15 Mercy Pull. Like that. That's ridiculous. Um, so it's a, a very huge improvement. It would be nice if they could do that for the future as well. Okay, so this notice is going over the Toon Moogle medals. This is the actual picture for the Toon Moogle medal. As I said it before, make sure that you log in on the on these specific dates. On the 16th, so today, okay, or the day that this video gets released. On the 23rd, which is next week, Monday, and the 30th, which is the Monday after that, okay? So for these three weeks, on each of the Mondays are the days where you can get your Toon Moogle medal. And you can only get them on these Mondays. After May 1st is when we can actually get our uh, jewels for these medals. As well as we can actually get our points for the Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, application event. Alright, so the next notice is covering the new Union Cross update reset that we just got. Uh, and in this Union Cross, we can actually get... So we can finally get some boosters for this month. <laughs> like me and my party, we're starting to question whether or not we we're going to actually get any boosters for this month. But we're finally going to get some reverse boosters for this month. I'm hoping that these boosters will actually end up being enough for a lot of us to actually beat the Vex and Plus uh, challenge that's going on right now using the reverse medals. We'll see. I'm not too sure. I'm going to give it a shot once I complete it. But yeah, you can get the reverse boosters as well as we also get a new accessory uh, for you can cross this month as well, which is a collar. I'm trying to scroll down so I can find it. Okay, so it doesn't actually state in the notice, uh, but at least according to the notice, it, the collar doesn't really do anything. It's purely for aesthetics, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. It might actually do something once you actually get it, but at least according to the notice, it doesn't seem to do anything. So the collar is simply just for pure aesthetics. All right, so for this week, they are bringing back the special EX medal deal uh, where for 3,000 jewels, you can get a random uh, EX medal that's currently in the pool, and it does include the new EX plus medal, so keep that in mind. So if that's something worth doing that you want to do, uh, that's available. I personally don't recommend doing this because of how much stuff is just coming out. Uh, and I feel like the EX Metal Duel might actually start becoming a regular thing. So I honestly, I don't think it's it's that important. I don't think I'll make a big... I honestly don't think I'll make a big difference if you happen to miss this EX Metal uh, banner this time. Don't worry about it. Alright, so covering this week's VIP... Alright, so for this week, we're actually getting a new Moogle part, uh, I mean a new accessory, which is called the Moogle Headband, as well as an extra 1,400 jewels in addition to our usual 3,000 jewels, okay? And 
the accessory actually gives us a raid boss perk of plus 10. That's actually huge. That's on par with the old Union Cross uh, crown rewards that we used to get uh, if you were like top 100 or top 1000 or something like that. Okay. Um, I personally don't want to wear this because I have the actual crowns themselves and to me the crowns are much cooler. Uh, but if you're looking for some raid boss perks, these are going to help you out a lot. Uh, the other thing we're getting is the Master Xehanort EX Plus Metal. It's a uh, speed reverse metal. It's very good. Um, it's basically just a speed reverse version of the Sephiroth EX and the uh, HD Vanitas EX Plus uh, metals that we got right now. It's just completing the trio, basically, of reverse metals. So here, here it is. This is what it looks like. Um, just like I just mentioned, it's a speed reverse metal tier 8. Uh, for one turn, a lowest target's reverse defense by two tiers and speed defense by seven, and inflicts more damage to higher HP. It's an AOE metal, costs four gauges, and the multipliers is 8.84 to 15.37. It's literally exactly the same thing as Sephiroth EX Plus and HD Vanitas EX Plus. We're also getting our regular, our seven magic broom medals uh, thing, as well as our times two uh, gem deal and our magic mirrors. So VIP is actually looking pretty sweet this week. We're also getting some new avatar boards. There's actually two notices for avatar boards. Here are some brand new avatar boards where we're getting the we're finally getting the Cruella de Vil avatar boards. And in the Cru Cruella de Vil, each board costs 2,500 jewels, so it is kind of pricey. Uh, and this is what they include. So one of the accessories for the Cruella de Vil uh, avatar board. Uh, this puppy doll, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here on the shoulder. The little shoulder accessory that we get a lot of times. Uh, the 101 Dalmatians accessory puppy doll that we get from the Quell de Ville avatar board is actually going to give you a perk, which is actually a skill perk of plus six. So if you ha I believe that like, we have an old Moogle accessory that used to sit on your shoulder that gives a plus six as well. So if you don't happen to not have that, uh, this accessory can't help you out right there um and plus it's 101 dalmatian so like you know why not <laughs> but aside from that the actual skills that we're getting in these avatar boards are going to be second chance three attack boost five and ap plus and lux plus as well as attack boost six max all right and we're also getting a magic gem in it now uh in terms of whether or not i think it's worth pulling for these boards the main thing that caught my eye for these boards is the attack boost six max but it's only one copy so it's kind of type of thing you're spending 2500 jewels for really only one skill so it's it's kind of questionable the fact and it also it's 2500 like it's just expensive um i personally recommend waiting for now it, it lasts for 11 days okay so you have time i personally recommend waiting uh for now before purchasing these avatar boards because of the fact of how much content is just getting pumped out to us this entire uh these like last week or so that uh we might easily get some more stuff in the future these next week week or two um that might end up being better so i honestly recommend holding off on purchasing these avatar boards for now uh solely because of that Especially with all the like anniversary stuff that's coming out all of a sudden now, finally. Um, the other part of the Avatar board notices that they got is that they're bringing back some old past uh, Avatar boards that we had in the past. So we have Cloud as well as Yuffie and we have Bell and Beast. All right, Each of them honestly are not worth getting. They're just way too outdated to like there's nothing in them really worth it anymore. Uh, the, uh, the skill perks that they have is Item Drop perk plus three uh, attack boost two attack prize plot attack prize plus uh, you get the illustrated UC medals um, the beast and bell gives you raid boss perk plus 10 which is actually not that bad um, as well as attack boost two max and lux plus triple threat and speed gems honestly none of this is worth it the only thing that's mildly worth it is the raid boss omega perk plus 10 but even then like we don't really get Omegas that much. That's only really if you're trying to uh, trying to farm Omegas during the off season, really. Like if you're if you're aiming for that like top five Lux earner at the end of every week type thing. That's not during competitive week. That that's the only real times that those perks actually become really useful. Other otherwise, 
you don't really need to get these at all. Unless you want it for aesthetics, uh, in terms of like actual competitiveness, they're not worth it at all. You don't need to get them. All right. So second to last thing that I want to cover. Uh, so for this week's <laughs> raid week, we have actually a really cool uh, raid boss this time. But essentially, uh, for this week's raid boss, it's called the Krabby Cake. And that's honestly really cool. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, you can get the boosters for the raid boss as well. So not only can you get reverse boosters for doing Union Cross, you can also get them from doing the raid boss for this week as well. As well as this we can also have another chance for this week's uh, raid week on getting another Fantasia Mecha B uh, medal. However, keep in mind that this time it's almost just the exact same thing as last time where you have to kill the raid boss at level 90, okay, to get 10,000 jewels in order to buy the uh, Fantasia Mickey B medal. If you end up skipping level 90 for whatever reason, you basically skipped your chance to get your 10,000 jewels. So please keep that in mind that it's specifically at level 90. All right, and if you just want to spam, if you want to help out your team a lot too, uh, let your teammates know, your party members know when you have a level 90 raid boss up, so that way everyone can tap it. And then at the end of the timer, you can defeat your raid boss, and everybody who participated in the battle, participated in the battle, will get their 10,000 raid boss coins. Okay, they'll get their raid boss coins, and then everybody can buy Mickey B's as well as uh, just fill up the rest of their raid boss boards, avatar boards. Okay. So that's the thing about that. So the last thing I'm going to cover, and that's basically regarding this week's Raid Week, uh, which is honestly going to be the most hype thing throughout this entire week, as well as going to be the most competitive. <laughs> I'm currently going to be really competitive this week as well. Uh, this week, as part of the rewards, the top 100 parties for this week are going to get the Union Armor for according to your unit okay so if you're in volps you're going to be getting this one if you're in ursus you're going to get this one uh lepardus leopardus is going to get this one angus is going to get this one and unicornus is going to get this one these are the union armors that the top 100 parties of each union are gonna get and for those of you that don't know as well uh the actual armors themselves and specifically the mask gives a skill perk of plus nine which is one of the highest skill perks currently available in the game so yeah <laughs> It's it, honestly, it's just really cool. I honestly, I don't even care about the skill perk. I just want the armor, because uh, one of, to me, one of the really coolest things about these type of rewards for raid weeks is that once you get the item, it's almost like a symbol of status. So that way, you can take it into like Union Cross and whatnot, and you can like kind of like strut your stuff and brag a little bit. To me, that was always the really cool part about winning these type of uh, accessories and whatnot. Uh, but at the same time, it, it is like, it's also like supporting Union this time as well. So like, it's 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 just really cool. I'm, I'm really loving it and uh, looking forward to it so far. But anyways, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to quickly go over all of the new uh, info that just came out for this week and whatnot. I, I know it's like a ton of like stuff that like they just, they just shot at us. But like, <laughs> I wanted to really go over it so everything was clear. But if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload new videos such as this one. As well as feel free to check out my Discord. Link is in the description below. I love being able to talk to you guys. And honestly, with all the anniversary hype, uh, <laughs> everyone's like, like just getting really excited. Other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Cross Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.